Hello children, let us learn new lesson in science today that is about waste is wealth. Children, what do you mean by waste? Waste is any unwanted material which is useless. Okay, so we will throw the waste which is not need by us. What do you mean by wealth? Wealth means valuable material to how this waste can become wealth. Okay, so now we are going to learn how this waste can be become wealth. We are going to study proper disposal method of waste. Let's start. Children, can you see these pictures? What you can see in this picture? You can see here dustbin. Yes, S yes, it's a dustbin. Why do we need? Why do we use this dustbin? We use dustbin to put the waste. Isn't it children? So in our home or in our school, whatever we don't need that we will throw as waste. Yes, we use dustbin to put the waste. Yes, children. Did you cross any time such type of places? Yes. When we cross these places, we will fi feel bad smell. Isn't it children? Because people dump all vegetable waste, plastics, paper and all the waste they will put there. So, it leads to smell. Why it, uh, why it create a bad smell? Because some of the waste like vegetable peels or uh, animal waste, it start to decay. Okay, so we can feel bad smell around the waste. Isn't it children? So here you can see that people, they are not, not throwing the waste in dustbin properly. That will be the good place for cockroaches, rat and other insects to live. Okay, so there cockroaches and other, uh, other uh, insects, they used to live comfortably there and it will be a breeding place for the mosquito and they will live comfortably there and they will spread disease. Okay, so... Mm, so, people do not put their waste properly in the dustbin because of that it leads to the uh, what it leads to the arrival of many insects, cockroaches, rats on the waste which will spread disease, which will spread lot of disease. Okay, children. Now, here it's uh, this waste uh, place or the place where we are putting waste it will be it will be the comfortable place for insects so insects will be wandering here and there happily and the waste contains tins plastics rubber to yes so they do not decay so only the vegetable peels uh, dry leaves etc gets uh, what decay but the waste contain tins plastics tins plastics and rubber too they do not decay it is better to give them to the people who buy old things what we can do this waste which we can which cannot be decayed or which cannot be uh, decayed easily they can be given to you know, the people who buy old things children here you can see sorry so uh, given to the old thing uh, old uh, old things can be given to the people okay so that uh, they will uh, separate it and make it as a useful things okay so here you can see in this picture some of the useful things which we can make using waste items okay 
so see the ch uh, things which have been useful things can be made out of this uh, colorful bottles tins and pieces of paper okay so which uh, we are throwing as waste that bottles colorful bottles tins and pieces of paper can be Mm, can be used for making useful things okay so here you can see models has been prepared out of waste materials okay so you can uh, you can make pen stand or uh, cutleries and then you can you can make uh, containers to store <coughs> to store the things etc okay children so mm, we we have to uh, utilize the waste and we have to convert the waste into a useful things here you can see in this picture that waste bangles uh, gets converted into beautiful crafts which we can hang in our house okay so uh, from the waste bangles we can make the uh, decorative items which will decorate our homes okay children now here you can see the lorry which comes from the municipality okay so waste also have to be collected and classified well okay so the municipal workers will come from the municipality and they will collect the waste which is thrown by the people and carry them into carry them in the uh, carry them in the vehicle okay so after that they will classify they will collect the waste and they will <coughs> they will classify it okay which will keep our dustbin clean okay so this uh, the waste which is collected uh, by the uh, municipality workers they will uh, take it to the outskirts of the locality okay they are uh, they, they can be converted into manure okay so here you can see the municipality workers they have come with vehicles to collect waste from this dustbin and they remove the uh, they remove the waste from the dustbin and keep the place clean and tidy okay they carry the waste to the outskirts of the locality outer outskirts means outer area of the town or village and there they will dispose it okay so uh, this is one of the disposal method now you can see types of waste okay so waste can be classified into four types they are dry waste wet waste hazardous waste and polluted waste let's see about types of waste dry waste dry waste example for dry waste or plastics glass pieces of metals racks racks means clothes rubber etc so these dry waste can be uh, given to rack pickers rack pickers means uh, who will collect old clothes okay so dry waste example plastics glass pieces of metals which can be given to the rack pickers then wet waste wet waste means leftover food which we will leave in our home okay leftover food kitchen waste then decaying food items then meat vegetable waste dry leaves pieces of paper it can be collected in a mm, one dustbin so which can be uh, converted into manure understood children so dry waste means you have understand wet waste means what leftover food kitchen waste decaying food items meat vegetable waste dry leaves pieces of paper so these wastes can be converted into manure converted means changed into manure manure means it is the material which is used to fertilize the soil 
Now next is hazardous waste. Hazardous waste example paints, insecticides, poisonous chemicals, broken tube lights, used batteries, expert medicines, etc. Okay, so hazardous waste example paints, insecticides, poisonous chemicals, broken tube lights, which we have to keep them in bags and put them in the municipality bins for proper disposal. Okay, so these as Hazardous waste contain chemicals. Okay, so we have to keep them in bags and put them in the municipality bins for proper disposal. Then next is about polluted waste. Polluted waste means used bandages, infected cotton, drips, syringes, used needles, etc. So hospital waste. Okay, the waste which will collect from the hospital. So mm, there you can see used bandages, then infected cotton tips then uh, mm, stringers okay so used needles so that also they have to keep them in bags and put them in the municipality bins for, for proper disposal so uh, understand children this is these are the types of waste so what are the four types of waste dry waste wet waste hazardous waste polluted waste okay children now about manure okay so this manure means it is the material which will give which will fertilize the soil okay manure is used to grow plants okay so it should be nice we can convert these vegetable fields then left of food kitchen waste decaying food items meat dry leaves pieces of paper and uh, we have to convert them into, into manure so manure can be used to grow plants okay so it can be uh, used to grow plants because it will fertilize the soil which helpful for the growth of plant okay so here you can see the in villagers they will put the uh, the they will put in a uh, they will put the waste in uh, in a pit with the grass leaves and cow dung then they will convert the waste into manure and use this manure to grow pla plants okay so in villages if you are seeing what they will do no they will do the waste um, in a pit with the grass uh, leaves and cow dung and they will convert the waste into manure and use uh, waste to grow plants okay children understand or not i hope that you understand okay now let's see about other thing that is here you can see in this picture that water comes from the houses and it collect uh, it collects in this pit isn't it children so uh, the water is stagnating stagnating means the water is standing for long time in a particular place yes so this is the water which comes from the houses it collected in this pit this place is suitable for the mosquitoes okay so mosquitoes they will uh, they will use this place to lay eggs okay so it will be the breeding place for the mosquito mosquito will multiply in this place and they will spread disease okay okay so mosquitoes live in this water and grow in the stagnant water okay and they, it will be the cause of disease okay it can spread disease now habits of reducing waste so uh, we can reduce the waste by recycling the waste okay so we can reuse the waste and we can reduce the waste okay so here you can see in this picture the paper bags can be converted into the beautiful decorative flower which we can use to decorate our homes then tin bottles we can con use it to store many things okay and we can make uh, the used bottles for making pen stands etc okay so we can reduce the waste by making the waste into a useful 
things okay so we have to reuse the things and make it useful here you can see the vegetable fields gets converted into manure so manure is the material which is used to fertilize the uh, soil and which help for the growth of plants one should minimize one's requirements it reduces waste okay so how we can reduce waste we have to minimize we have to minimize means we have to use less according to one's requirement only we have to use the things by that we can reduce waste many used things can be reused which is called as reusing and decaying waste can be converted into compost which can be used to grow plants what is mean by decaying waste vegetable fields dry leaves okay so these waste can be converted into manure which can be used to grow plants okay new things can be prepared from used plastic sheets glass and paper which is called as recycling okay so we can recycle the waste and use it as a new things okay so we have to uh, create we have to create new things using plastic sheets glass and paper called as recycling then used water can be used to water plants okay so uh, in our home we used to wash vegetables this water can be used again to water plants or it can be drained properly into the soak pit we can convert and use about 75 to 80 percentage of total solid waste generated in our country into manure okay so 75 to 80 percentage of the solid waste can be converted into manure which is used to grow plants then new materials can be made by recycling glass metal and plastic materials so we can create new materials by recycling the waste glass metal and plastic materials then packing of some products will cost more than the products themselves so to pack some products it will be cost more its cost will be more than the products which we brought every year innumerable number of c animals die due to plastic waste okay so many number of may number of sea animals die due to the plastic waste if cotton clothes take one month to decay nylon clothes will take 500 to 600 years to decay see children so cotton clothes will take only one month to decay but nylon clothes nowadays we are using nylon clothes more yes so nylon clothes will take 500 to 600 years to decay now here you can see the chart when do these things decay first one is see shells of clam it is permanent it won't get decay okay and bottle not known so which is made up of tin which will take 1 lakh years okay and the plastic bottle it will take more than 1000 years to decay then handkerchief which is made of nylon it will take 500 to 600 years to decay then aluminum tin it will take 200 to 500 years to decay here you can see tin it will take 80 to 100 years to decay then leather shoes it will take 40 to 50 years to decay then wood 10 to 15 years to decay then woolen socks it will take only 1 year to decay here you can see cotton clothes paper bags banana peel this banana peel will take 3 to 4 weeks paper bag will take 1 month to decay cotton clothes will take 1 month to decay okay so these are the things these are the duration for the things how when they will when these things become decay understand children so i hope that you all understand about this lesson if you have any doubt you can ask children thank you